Hello, Dave Hurwitz at ClassicsToday.com here to tell you about the most awful piece of music ever written. Really, I'm not kidding. It's actually the most awful piano concerto ever written, but I think it qualifies as both. It's the piano concerto in A minor by Georgian composer Heraclius Jabadari. There he is. Doesn't he look terrific, right? Great looking there. Okay, so what do we know about Jabadari? Let me read a little bit to you here from the booklet of this fabulous recording of the Piano Concerto. By the way, the cover is also kind of special, don't you think? Isn't that just, isn't that just splendid? I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be, but it certainly sells the product, doesn't it? Anyway, here we go. You ready? Jabadari was born in Tbilisi, Georgia on October 17, 1891. From childhood on, he showed great musical talent and enrolled in the local conservatory. But at the, at the time of the 1905 revolution, he was sent to the Brussels Conservatory where he studied, th studied theory under August Gevert of all people. Gevert who wrote a huge orchestration textbook and, and, and you know, I mean, Evidently, he learned nothing under August Gavert, as you will hear for yourself. And, he, and his piano teacher was Arthur de Grief, a pupil of Franz Liszt. You know who de Grief was. He, he did, well, stuff, you know. Anyway, in 1909, he went to Vienna, resuming his studies in harmony, counterpoint, and fugue, again, about which he evidently struggled and learned nothing. Oh, and he also studied composition with Richard Heuberger, of all people, who gave him good grounding in the tradition of Beethoven, Liszt, and Brahms, which he evidently despised. Anyway, the bottom line is he died in 1937 in Nice, and he wrote three, at least three piano concertos, this one being his third, believe it or not. I haven't heard the other two. I can only imagine. So... In order to describe how bad this piece is, um, you have to hear a little bit of it. You'll get a sense of it really from just a brief snatch. It begins with a kind of oriental camel procession. <laughs> I'm not kidding. After which the piano enters with sort of faux Mozart, complete with Alberti bass and a cadential trill. And that alternates with the camel procession. So here, here's, the piano's entrance, or the second piano entrance, with the sort of a bit of the procession afterwards, so you can sort of get a sense of how this operates. Get it? Now, that farrago of noise continues for like, I don't know, three or four minutes, five minutes, God only knows, it seems like a year. Then another tune comes in. That other tune has harmony of, that is so puerile, and I mean puerile, I'm not talking about Purell, like the hand sanitizer that we can't find in the stores. I mean puerile, as in, as in idiocy, stupid, ridiculous, tasteless, tacky. And then the camel thing comes back and, and that's the first movement, 12 minutes of it, all right? It is atrocious in ways I can't even begin to describe. Now, the slow movement is another 12 minute long uh, romance, supposedly. Evidently, it didn't end well. And the finale is a rondo that sounds sort of like Poulenc on a really, really bad day. Now, what makes this piece all the more entertaining and amusing is the fact that the performance is fully worthy of it. Um, the pianist here is, is Henri Gouraeb, 
who actually became a French radio personality, as far as I understand. Um, he is also photographed in the album booklet here, um, which you have to see to believe. Here he is with Charles Munch. It's a wonderful picture. Look at it. It looks like he was like stalking Munch outside the concert hall. And when the guy came out after the concert, he ran up and grabbed him and had a friend take a picture, right? You know? And basically, the disc also contains his Georgian Rhapsody for piano and orchestra, which is every bit as bad as the concerto, and a couple other pieces. Now, I understand that this will all be a matter of taste, and nobody has a right to judge anybody else in that respect. Well, yes, we do, because when the music is that awful, then we are compelled to speak out and mention it. Now, this has always been a great party record of mine. You know, I take it, I play it for friends, and they're like, oh my God, you can't believe that guy was serious. He was very serious. And at one point, I had the great honor of giving a presentation called The Worst Piano Concerto in History for the American Musicological Society, where the entire presentation consisted of, listen to this, guys, the first movement, and then, see? Let me just say that Nobody had any argument with my contention. So, this performance with Louis Fromont and the Luxembourg Radio Television Orchestra and Henri Goreb was originally released on LP on a label called Voxy Grave. Now, I don't know that label. There was apparently nothing else on it. Um, and it was released on CD on this label. It was called Quantum. It was distributed by Albany, actually, for a while. I've never seen anything else on that label either. I don't know if it still exists. I don't really care. I do know that if you want to know what is the worst piece of serious music ever written, there's a very good chance that it's the Piano Concerto in A Minor by Heraclius Javadari. And if you can find it, you'll want to have it just because, you know? It's like rock rock music people collecting the shags. It's just it's just so awful that you have to have it. You have to be able to share it with your friends. It'll just it'll just make your day. It's the kind of badness that's really actually kind of entertaining and maybe that's goodness in a way. I don't know. Keep on listening, folks. I did and this is what I found. <laughs> 